Johnny Ockelview hoping to stop their recent good run and get their own title ambitions back on track. John Hughes is without the suspended Alan Ferguson and Jason Lee. And despite their 2-1 win over Ayr last week in the Cup, the Bears haven't scored in their last three league games. Well, Falkirk this afternoon will be hoping for big things from young Derek Cahoon. Nine goals for the under-19 side. He makes his first start with Jason Lee out and Colin McMenamin back at Livingston. Ross County impressed at Celtic Park in the Cup last week. Two wins and a draw have taken them to within seven points of Clyde and they know they must win today to exert pressure at the top. Stuart Malcolm is suspended, so Alex Smith sticks with the Sean Webb-Jim Lachlan partnership in defence. For the forward, top scorer David Winters will be hoping to add to his 11 goals. And the referee for Falkirk against Ross County is Gary Mitchell. It's been a case of awful viewing at Ockel View for Falkirk this season. Three wins from nine games here and just eight goals to their credit. Contrast that to County with 21 goals in their nine away games. And both sides are looking for the three points for their own reasons. Up to halfway, Jim Hamilton loses out. He kicks, says referee Gary Mitchell. That'll be the first of the game for Ross County. Sean Webb towards the penalty area. The goalkeeper shouted, but didn't get there. David Hanna with the effort and a good save, I think, from the goalkeeper. The county on the attack once more. Winters trying to get turned, unable to get away from two midfielders. John O'Neill helps out. Russell Latipe coming forward. Latipe once more crowded out in the end. Robertson with the clearance. <laughs> Measures his ball forward. Hamilton involved, but Ross County. Mood breaks down. Falkirk now come forward. John O'Neill. Latipe. Craig McPherson on the far side. He looked to get the ball into the penalty area. McPherson. Faced immediately with Jamie McCunney, and it comes. The goalkeeper gets hands to it. Still a chance for Falkirk. Second shot came in from Souza. But Graham Smith flapped at the ball somewhat as the cross came over. Almost presented the opportunity for the home side. The Falkirk back in possession. Latipe did well. Here, McInespy, a judge to be fouled, but says the referee. So Latipe and McInespy over the free kick. It'll be Latipe, he plays it into the penalty area. Flicks on, a brilliant save for the keeper. Well, the header came in from Souza, and there was Graham Smith with a save at the near post, underlining just the potential he has, the Rangers man on loan. Latipe with plenty of players forward, trying himself, chipped in. On the turn, good effort by Andy Laurie. Latipe brought the down, brought the ball down well, driving forward now. Russell Latipe, still there, edge of the area. Oh, he got the shot in, but dragged it across goal. Laurie looks for movement. Cahoon provides. Laurie will get the ball into the penalty area. Souza trying to get there, McInespy in there as well. McInespy claiming for a corner, which is given. McInespy towards the penalty spot, John Hughes misses out. Opportunity in the turn, but it was always really against David Souza. The through ball has given David Winters a chance, Winters with a shot and a great save. From Darren Hill, he had to move sharply to his left hill, push the ball wide of the post. Chance now for Falkirk to come forward again. McInespy looking up, looking for some help now. Russell Latipe and John O'Neill to his right. O'Neill down this side, Andy Laurie. O'Neill once more, he could possibly shoot from there, but he likes to play it in. Latipe with a shot. <laughs> Russell Latipe puts Falkirk ahead. 
It's a goal that's been coming here at Oco View to the delight of the Falkett supporters. John O'Neill chipped it in, it came to Latipi, and he fired it into the top corner to put Falkirk one up, and a vital goal for John Hughes' men. <laughs> Latipi now for Falkirk. Craig McPherson on the far side. Some good midfield play, Latipi involved once more. Forward now, Souza, chance for number two. Flag up in the near side, denies David Souza. It's certainly one of the better moves of the game. Russell Latipi heavily involved. It's through ball, appeared to put the number eight Canadian through. But the flag up prevents a second goal for Falkirk. Winters lays it back for Jim Hamilton. Well, they managed to get the shot away over the bar, though, from Hamilton from 18 yards. John Rankin picks up the loose ball on this side. Stephen McGarry's made the run down the left. McGarry into the middle. The header from David Winters over the bar. Probably no more than a half chance for Winters. The ball perhaps just too high for him. The ball sailing over the crossbar of Darren Hill. Speed. Ball played to this near side for the run of Andy Laurie. Well, he went past John Rankin easily enough. Laurie into the middle with the pass, and the goalkeeper unopposed as he challenged for the ball there. Graham Smith cutting it out fairly easily. Hugh Robertson with the forward pass as the half-time whistle goes here at Oco View. The only goal of the game so far, scored by Russell Latipi, and a beauty it was too. It put Falkirk ahead, and that's the score here at half-time. It's Falkirk 1, Ross County nil. Oh, what a belter! He's some boy! The highlights of the first half came from Russell Latipi and it's given Ross County a tough task in the second 45. And you wonder if perhaps there's been a reaction to last week's cup tie for Alex Smith's men. However, we'll be hoping for more goals in the second half. Free kick for foot up against Scott McKenzie. Well, Gary Mitchell indicating an indirect free kick. Latipi and O'Neill standing round about it. Latipi played it short. McNesby with a shot. It wasn't too far away in the end. He certainly took a deflection. The referee giving a corner. It was well hit by McNesby. Just clearing the crossbar. Corner for Falkirk. McNesby towards the edge of the penalty area. John Hughes on, bouncing around in the penalty area. No final effort from Falkirk. As Latipi picks up the loose ball. McPherson. Into the penalty area again. Cahoon with a shot. His first goal for Falkirk. As a dream debut for Derek Cahoon. He's scored nine times for the under 19s, and that's his first goal for the big team. The ball was played in, it was headed down, and Cahoon swept it into the net to give Falkirk a two-goal lead. Hugh Robertson stepping in, but Falkirk pick up possession once more. Latipi looks for O'Neill, O'Neill into the middle, Cahoon gets his head to the ball, but over the crossbar this time from the youngster. Ah, 
That was picked up by David Hanna. He certainly had space in front of him, Hanna, if he'd wanted to shoot there, but electing to pass. Ross County still in charge, still coming forward. And the goalkeeper made a terrible mess of that. Well, how did that not go in the net? Well, I'm not sure quite what the keeper was doing there. But certainly, down in Hill he was lucky to get away with it. Latipi. Helped out by Scott McKenzie. Latipi once more. Falkirk once more. Exerting pressure, pushing the ball around. Souza did well to get there ahead of the defender. Souza has done well. The goalkeeper had to be sharp there. Well, Graham Smith almost beaten for a third time this afternoon. The long ball forward. Souza trying to get there ahead of Smith. Both getting there at the same time. Well, you might feel Souza should have checked out of that one. Whether he saw Graham Smith coming out his goals or not, I don't know. Both committed to the challenge, both reaching the ball at roughly the same time, and both suffering because of it. Well, it's taken some time, but very slowly, both players appear to be getting onto their feet. They certainly both felt the full force of that. And for Ross County, looks like a bandage in the right wrist of Graham Smith. The yellow card is shown to Souza. The referee clearly feeling he shouldn't have gone for the ball. Souza not happy. He'd be as well to keep his mouth shut, having been yellow carded. Scott McKenzie helping out. Cahoon, Latipe once more. Falkirk keeping possession well. It's still Falkirk in possession. Latipe is getting dangerous now, getting close to the penalty area. Scally, I think he maybe thought about a shot, but Andy Laurie did shoot. Deflected, still with a chance. It's away eventually, but only as far as Latipe. Once more, the goalkeeper down, stopping the ball. Huge amount of pressure from Falkirk. Ross County have survived. And Graham Smith did well. Into the penalty area. Hamilton trying to get there. They won't reach it. Come back for David Hanna. And the first time shot was more dangerous than maybe it looked at first. And certainly Darn Hill taking no chances. Sean Webb up towards the edge of the area. Flicked on. Gethins trying to get there. An opportunity and a good save for the keeper. Well, first chance for Connor Gethins, and what a great turn it was. He managed to get in the shot, but the goalkeeper smothered the ball. And an excellent chance for Ross County to get back into the game has gone. It's a better passing move from Ross County. The ball at least sticking to their players this time. Hannah forward to the edge of the area. Stephen McGarry trying to turn. Gethins with him. Connor Gethins trying to shape for a shot for himself towards the far side. Just over the crossbar from Connor Gethins. Hugh Robertson to the far side. Is there to be something late in the game for Ross County? It might be no more than consolation at this stage, but you never know. If they could get one goal, they might get back into it. Falkirk determined to make sure they don't. A good shot in the end from David Hanna into the arms of the goalkeeper, though. So, free kick for Falkirk. Is there to be a third, a third goal in this game for them? Andy Laurie in no hurry, going towards the corner flag as the full-time whistle goes, and Falkirk's chances of being at the top of the table at the end of the season have been done a lot of good by this result. Goal in the first half from Russell Latipe and Derek Cahoon in the second.